happening people this is Rohit here and in this podcast episode I'm going to discuss how YouTube helps me with just 500 subscribers so let's start from the beginning of how and why I started YouTube in the first place you know back in 2020 I had this idea of starting my YouTube journey and back then I was also doing my grad school research so the, I wanted the beginning to coincide you know what this beginning and this beginning when it coincided it makes perfect sense that was my mindset but unfortunately things didn't play out my way but right when I decided that my grad school journey is going to start at Rutgers Newark, I had the opportunity to perfectly coincide my YouTube journey, the beginning of it, yeah, and make sure that I use it perfectly. You know, when you ha- when you make all these factors into play, you are trying to control a lot of things. But sometimes it works well, and that's what happened in my place. So I wanted this journey to be captured through a video journal as well as documenting myself through a lot of ways and that's what when you look at all my beginning videos it would be more of a video journal rather than a proper vlog so right now also i believe i'm more of a documentary and video journal kind of person rather than just an entertainment vlog kind of person so in that way you know i'm making my i'm making myself hold myself accountable for the kind of journey that i'm putting out there holding it's making me accountable for when i when i say new video every single day or new video every single week i'm holding myself accountable on a public platform so that also teaches me the responsibility as well as to learn what other things are actually important to be successful on a youtube platform for me i did not know how to uh, do video editing i did not know how to vlog itself but there's so many other aspects which has happened in my life which has prepared me for it you know trying to do those shots and all those things which i was earlier sharing it only with my friends and family now i'm doing it on a public platform that's the only difference at the same time you know when i hold myself accountable i'm also sharing and talking to myself in a lot of ways whether it's podcast and holding myself accountable i'm saying that again and again but also all those insecurities of what all things which i was slightly scared slightly freaking out in the beginning i mean i'm actually sharing it and when you look at two let's compare two videos for me when you look at new year ball drop of 2022 as well as new year ball drop of 2023 which is ball drop of 2024 technically two years have been there alone but the kind of mindset that I had in each one, it's very different. When you watch your videos in one, it's a slight loneliness. And the other one, it's about like, you know what, go fight for yourself, be alone, do all those things. See, in all, th- both these videos, I was the only one in those videos. You will never see me. It's a row venture, it's a one-man show and a one-man army. But holding myself accountable and I'm able to share all of these things, hoping that someone out there, someone out there in the world is actually watching my videos. And it's about for me, those video journals for me, as well as some people are actually I'm able to share my happiness, share my journey on YouTube, share my journey in life on YouTube. And that's a huge thing for me. And since I'm, it's just a small channel, it's just 500 subscribers. It's all about having fun with the journey i'm learning how to do video editing i'm playing around different aspects i'm playing around the different ways of vlogging and saying you know what let's move from video journaling to vlogging let's shift that platform a bit let's make it more slightly entertainment based slightly you're able to control a lot of different things in life different things which are actually in my control rather than you know anxiety and all those bills only when you're trying to control things which are not in your control but youtube is my platform it's my platform to share what i really want to say what i really want to show you all so for me it's about like holding myself you know I, it's about having fun even uh, making it the thumbnails all these things which i never knew before but right now i'm sharing it and i'm getting some people are actually following me, the small channel, 500 people, random people. You know, on campus, I have so many different roles and people are recognizing me for it. Yes, because they have seen me in all those roles. But YouTube is something I, I don't publicize so much about my YouTube as well. But just because I'm sharing all those videos to share my journey at Rutgers Newark, my journey at JBJ, my journey of going to 100 plus solo dates in New York City. I'm able to just share it on YouTube, hoping someone out there is just watching, sharing it as well as it's for me to have fun. I'm just i'm just grateful for the kind of journey that i've had it's about for me it was about having fun and even though it's a small platform i'm able to experiment a lot of different things i mean for me it's about like yes you are having that slight power in the platform where you are actually sharing a lot about Rutgers new arc or what all i'm doing in life as an international student what all i'm learning but it's also about doing it all alone and for me youtube has become like my friend because i'm able to share a lot of things which i don't Sure, I have zero social life outside of campus, but I'm not lonely at all. For me, it's about like, yes, I have close friends who are not with me, but I'm able to share all of this through YouTube, 
uh, as well as with my family i'm able to share all it's like talking to myself in a way like all those aspirational talks inspirational talks what all i want to say the uh, the kind of in, inner self talk that i'm telling myself and i'm actually able to share it and some person out there is finding it useful that's like win win situation and i'm just grateful for the kind of journey and hoping to many more and just a small channel i'm not like i want to have fun with this channel and just be myself and that's what i've been doing from the beginning and that's what i'll continue to do till the end thank you all for watching see you all in another one till then bye from me